do violent video games make for violent kids? Cool to kill them and stuff. for the roots of the senseless violence people, not that video is so games. They say Dreamcast is the real as a culture. The world in the past four years. Because of a video game, because of a, game, or because of a movie, or because of, television, or because of television, because of television, because of television, because of music. People can use guns because they really feel like they just can't handle life. Video games give you the skill and the will to kill. And they teach you to associate pleasure from human death and suffering. They reward you for killing people. They take healthy play and turn it on its head. Success in a video game is defined by mastering violence at heretofore unimagined levels. I think that media violence and video game violence play a very important role and in combination with a number of psychological and societal factors can be very damaging. I think the real challenge for the video game industry is to develop new scenarios, new games. And I think that this preoccupation with ultraviolence is something that they really ought to work away from. The problems that we're seeing in representations and, and violence in video games has nothing to do with the technology. It has everything to do with how we've chosen to use the technology. For young people especially, video games are perhaps the media technology they are most familiar with and enthusiastic about. Surveys have found that 90% of households with children have purchased or rented video games. And it's been estimated that kids in those homes play an average of an hour and a half a day. Video games have the quality of being so explicit and so blatant in their representations of men, of women, of power, of control, that they lay out some of the key ideologies of the culture in an absolutely unmistakable, vivid way. A very common image in video game representations is a very hyper-masculine male character, someone who is, has an extremely imposing physical body, someone who is very muscular, someone who is certainly uh, very aggressive. An effect of this hyper-masculine characterization can also be to link being male with being violent. There is nothing in the academic research that supports the conclusion that violent video games lead to aggressive behavior, period. It is extraordinarily difficult for a human being to kill a member of their own species. They have to be manipulated into it. And when you look deeper into the battle, you'll see that the history of warfare is ever more successful mechanisms to manipulate people into killing. The Marine Corps uses the game Doom as a training device. It is such an effective and efficient tactical trainer. There's limited skill involved with this game, but there's a great deal of rehearsal and uh, will processes involved here. Well, understand that Doom all by itself, even used with a keyboard, is good enough that the Marine Corps uses it to script killing in their soldiers. It provides the script, the rehearsal, the act of killing. Uh, we have to understand that the military around the world and law enforcement organizations around the world do not use these killing simulators and spend billions of dollars on these simulators for fun. They do it because it works. It is their job to condition and enable people to kill. They know what they're doing. They are the professionals. But as soon as you put a quarter in that video game, you never, never put a quarter in that video game and don't shoot. And the very first thing you shoot at is the first human being that pops up on your screen. And you shoot and you shoot and you shoot. So the safeguards are completely absent and all of the enabling that the military and the law enforcement gets are provided, plus the rewards, the pleasures, the cheers, the laughter, the learn to associate it with pleasure is also there. And so we must think very, very carefully about who we provide this operant conditioning, this training to. And if we provide it indiscriminately to children, it is the moral equivalent of putting a military weapon in the hand of every child in America. 
I think at the moment video games are advancing very limited notions of masculinity and femininity. They're reinforcing the sexual objectification of women. They're reproducing the same racial stereotypes. They're teaching young boys that violence is an appropriate response to um, any situation. And it's my hope that that's going to change, that uh, video games will challenge um, our, our stereotypes and, um, and, and really push us ahead in terms of how we think about each other and, and ourselves.